Welcome to Affin.pro, a really unique tool for note-taking, journaling, and visual brainstorming. This isn't just your average document editor. Affin actually blends traditional writing, visual mapping, and project planning all in one. Now, I've already logged into the actual interface, so I will be teaching you the buttons, the maps, and how to actually use it, and how to get the most out of Affin. Let's jump in. The first thing you'll notice after logging in is the left sidebar. This is your main navigation area, and there are only a few buttons, but they cover everything you need. So these are the main three buttons at the top. You have all docs over here. This is your main hub where all your files live. This is your journals hub. This is like a special folder just for your daily notes or daily entries and settings, pretty self-explanatory account settings preferences, appearance, and etc. It's super minimal, but Affin's power is not in the buttons. It's in the workplace itself. Now, the part that confuses almost everyone, the map-like workspace that you see when you first open Affin. Here's the deal. This is called the canvas view. It's not just one document. It's a visual map where you can place multiple blocks, documents, images, and ideas all in one space. You can think of it like a whiteboard, but instead of drawing, you place different cards or boxes for each piece of content. You can move the boxes around freely, like so, resize them if you want to over here, connect them if you want to create a flowchart or mind map. So if you want to connect them, just simply tap on this and connect it over here. And now you have connected these two boxes, as you can see, and each box can be a note a checklist, a table, an embedded file, or even a full document. So if you're used to simple folders and files, this will feel weird at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually super flexible. If you want to skip the map and just make a regular document, here's how. Tap on all docs in the sidebar, hit the plus button or the new doc, and then add a title. I'm going to name it something random. Here we go. And the information, of course, is just a description. And now we can simply hit this button, the arrow, and then tap on New Edge List. And as you can see, we are now at a new whiteboard. It basically opens a clean, minimal editor. This works just like Notion, Google Docs, or Obsidian. You can type regular text, add headers, lists, checkboxes, images, tables, and more. But here's where Affine gets creative. You can match any regular document into a canvas in any time. That means you can start writing like a normal doc, then later break it into visual cards if you want to. The journals button is for daily notes. Each day gets its own automatic page. This is perfect for daily work logs, quick ideas, personal reflections, or even a mini planner for the day. It's like a built-in bullet journal and you can connect these journal entries back to your regular docs or canvas items if you want everything linked together. One of Affine's core features is blocks. Blocks can be dragged and dropped anywhere, inside a document or onto a canvas map. You can also turn a block into something else like changing a paragraph into a task first or turning a text into a card that lives on the map. This is where Affine combines traditional docs with visual thinking like Miro or Whimsical. Want to brainstorm visually? Use the canvas view with blocks to spread across the map. Like so, you can create more blocks by simply by simply tapping on this. And now you can create these like different designs as well. And here you can create these maps if you want to, or notes like so, there you go. And yeah, that is how you can create these blocks. Now, if you want to master the canvas view, here are the key controls. Right click anywhere on the screen to add a new block. You could even generate an image with AI, like for example, a lion. It's going to generate an image of a lion. There you go. You can add it over here. It's just going to load. And basically, once you do that, it's going to load it over here. And now we have generated an image of a lion. So yes, Affine also has AI generation which is what makes it good because it's catching up to the trends right now, which is currently AI. You can drag blocks to reposition them. This helps if you're making a timeline, 
process flow or a visual brainstorm. You can zoom in and out if you would like to using your mouse wheel or trackpad and double click any block to edit its content. So you could even add like comments here like hi, it would be shown like that. Basically these are called notes. I'm going to put more like so and it's going to appear like that. Now, one pro tip, if the canvas overwhelms you at first, start with one central block, like the title of your project. Let's say this is our central block and now we're going to build outside, like outwards, and that's basically going to give us a beautiful map if we continue on building this map. It's not going to look like a lot at first, but I assure you, if you get the hang of it, it's going to look amazing and it's going to look clean. You could even turn your canvas into a visual dashboard, like I said, you could connect these like so. If you want to, you could even change the kind of connectors that you have. And this is a fantastic setup for project management, creative brainstorm, and research projects where you need both big picture mapping and detailed notes. And finally, don't forget to check out these settings in the sidebar. So over here, let's simply tap on settings. Here you can change your appearance to either light or dark mode, manage your account and storage, set preferences for how new docs open, canvas by default or doc by default, and to make this all concrete, let's walk through a real sample. Imagine you're planning a product launch. In Affine, you could create a central canvas called launch plan. You could add blocks for your timeline, marketing ideas, task lists, and competitor research. And each block can link to detailed documents like a doc with social media captions, a table tracking outreach, a research doc full of competitor screenshots. This gives you the big picture and details all in one place. And yeah, that's pretty much your complete beginner guide to Affine.pro. If you've been confused by the map-like interface, hopefully this made it clearer. Affine is all about blending documents, visual thinking, and flexible project planning. It's not your traditional notes app, but that's what makes it powerful. Once you get comfortable, you'll find it's one of the most flexible tools out there. If you want me to go deeper on templates, integrations, or advanced workflows, leave a comment below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below if this tutorial worked or if you have any questions. Thank you and goodbye.